back here with a look at Miro. You can see we hit the 168 Fibonacci extension here at 40 cents. We took that out. Came up to about 44, almost 45 cents here. Uh, boy, oh boy, this thing is just getting started. This thing's got a long ways to go. All right, so uh, we're going to zoom in here and take a look at this chart in a second. I want to show you the crypto bubbles over here. Look at this. Unbelievable. Nice day out there. Gal is really pumping render. Uh, I did a video on both of them. I cover both of these. Uh, Gal is looking great. Render is looking really good. Uh, everything out there is actually looking pretty good. Uh, got a lot of stuff breaking out. Come over here, Bitcoin. Look at this new all-time high, seventy thousand one hundred eighty-four bucks. Unbelievable. This didn't happen last time until back here, November. Okay, yeah, when it took out the previous all-time high over here. So this is the beginning of March. All right, we have a long ways to go in this bull run. Uh, we've been killing trades over in the Discord. Um, if you're interested, a level three membership get you 20 over 20 videos nine hours of videos to teach you how to chart uh, set up your trading view how to use max c how to leverage trade how to look for price targets and every everything i teach you everything support resistance breakouts everything is over there plus a link to the discord the discord alone is worth a lot more than uh, 14.99 so we have 175 members if you're interested, please come join us. We're really doing very well over there with the trades. A lot of great traders in there uh, doing super well. So, you know, consider coming over. We'd love to have you. All right, Myro, if we take a look at this the weekly, uh, we don't have a weekly RSI yet. The daily is right up at the top here. Okay, you can see down here at the bottom uh, a little bit of bearish divergence. You had this high up here and then a higher high on price and a lower high on on the rsi the 12 hour the uh, same deal with the with uh, uh bearish divergence here you can see it right the eight hour uh also bearish divergence um and uh the four hour the four hour uh you can see a lot there. He had this high way back here, but that was back. Uh, it was on March 5th. Um, but you have the four-hour RSI also coming down. So let's take a look at this up here. All right, we had this big run up here. Obviously, ended up. If this was a fifth wave, wasn't much of one. You would have expected this to come up higher. All right. Uh, it could have one last push up here. I, I kind of doubt it though. Uh, the RSIs are looking very, very uh, stretched out here. Okay. Plus, we ended up hitting the 1618 here on the Fibonacci extension. After we have this correction, the next target is going to be 63 cents for my row. All right. So, if we zoom in here, I would expect an ABC to come in. All right, you're going to, this could be your A wave down now, a B wave up, and then a C wave down. Uh, this could end up being a lot bigger of a uh, of a correction, though. You could have this thing end up pulling back. We can, let's go out in the daily. All right, there's a couple different areas here that this could pull back to. Number one would be... Put a fib on here Go from our low to our high. All right, number one could be down to uh, 31 to 32 cents. All right, in worst case scenario, you know, 23 to 26 cents. All right, so, um, you know, it could come down to this range down here. Best case scenario is. Uh, like I said, is up in this range, which went on uh, 31 to 32 cents. I kind of see it maybe coming deeper in that. So we'll shoot for these targets first, 31 to 32 cents. If them don't hold, them, then we're coming down to lower ones. It's all going to depend on where this A wave and stops. Okay, let's get this off here a second. So you can see this chart a little bit better. 
right here. It's going to depend on where this stops. Okay, you're going to have, uh, it's going to look something, you know, maybe like this. A wave down, B, and C wave down. But it's all going to depend where this thing ends up. And we have the four hour still pulling down. Uh, the eight hours on the floor. The 12 hour looks like it's ready to pull down a little bit more, right? So we'll see where this ends up here. More than likely, you know, this A wave. Let's put it right on here. We could have a couple different spots here, but I would expect this A wave to at least pull down to 35 or 36 cents. All right, so we're going to be doing an ABC. And then, uh, then we'll continue on our way up. All right, and I'll keep you updated here as far as the pullback. But watch for 35 or 36 cents to come in down here and then a bounce up. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Come join us in Discord. <coughs> Excuse me. Have a great day, everybody.